This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. This is from Hobo Bench. And we're in Dumagate in the Philippines. Uh, we've been here about five months. We're social distancing. We're waiting for the coronavirus to blow over. <laughs> and today we thought we would talk about our favorite uh, places in the Philippines. Um, we're on the, we were in the middle of a tour of the Philippines when the coronavirus happened. Um, but when we, uh, why don't I tell you where we've been in the Philippines and then Chiang and I will tell you what our top three places are. So we first landed in Davao. Davao and we, uh, then we went to... <clears throat> and then we went to Sirio. Ka Kamen de, de Gayan? Right? <laughs> no. How do you say? Cagayan de Oro. Cagayan de Oro, right. Okay, and then we went to Camigan Island. Yes. And then we went to... Um, Boho. Boho. Or we, or Panglao. Panglao. We are saying Panglao. Yeah, and then we went to um, where we are now, no. Dumagate. Dumagate. So, uh, what are your top three? And then we'll talk about why we think. But I've been to Cebu. Okay. Yeah. I've been to Cebu too. Yeah, and which part of the Philippines have you been? I've been to Cebu and Boracay. Um, so what are your top three? And I'll tell you my top three and then we'll talk about why. Why are there are My top, top three, three yeah. is um, uh, Kamingin Island. Yeah. And then Sikiho Island. Sikiho. And then and Dumagate. And Dumagate. And by the way, Sikiho is a uh, an island off of Dumagate, uh, and so that's why we didn't mention it because it's it's kind of a day trip from where we are now, Dumagate. Uh, so so my top three, I would say, are the same: Dumagate, uh, Camigan Island, and Sikiho. Um, so let's talk about each of those since we have the same top three. Let's talk about why we like each of them, and then let's rank them. So I like uh, Camagan Island. It's a small island. It's less tourists. I got more peaceful. But uh, a lot of food you cannot get over there. But I'm fine, you know. If I don't like the crowd, and then uh, Siki Ho. No, no. Let's stay with Cam. I'll do Cam. I'll talk about Cam oh, again yeah, too. We'll do one at a time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so Cam again, I would say, uh, was amazing because, like you said, it's smaller. It's more intimate. Um, it had amazing nature, waterfalls, uh, you can drive all the way around the island on a scooter, all sorts of things to do. Uh, we saw um, the 100 year old clams, a meter long clam, we saw Apo Island, White Island. No, um, Apo Island. I'm Magic sorry. Key Island. Right. <laughs> and um, those are very beautiful islands uh, that you can get to fairly quickly off of Camigan. Camigan itself, uh, we only only saw one white sand beach on Camigan, and that's where you go into the water to see the clams. That's the only one I remember. We, there's a oh, nice yeah. black sand beach there. So. Yeah. Um, and so the highlight of that place, I would say, is the intimacy and the nature, the green waterfalls and and the, and lack of people, more nature, I would say. Yeah. Okay, uh, next one. Next one. What's uh, your next uh, one? I would say, let's talk about Sikihor next. So Sikihor is uh, behind, you can't see it, but it's sort of behind you. Uh, and it's too, too far to really make it worth turning the camera around, but... Oh, okay. An airplane flying over here. Yeah. Uh, but Sikihor, um, I, I would say, is... The benefit that it has, that, that maybe Kamigan didn't, is that there's white sand beaches around the outside of it. Oh, yes. And it had the waterfalls, it had all the beauty and everything. It's slightly larger. Did it seem larger to you? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's about, I don't remember it being larger. Um, but uh, Sikiho is more divided. They have more uh, tourists over there. Yeah, more tourists. Yeah. More cities. A more city. A few larger cities. Uh, no, it's not uh, large. But not large. Larger than Camden. They have a lot of hotel and hostel over there. Yeah, yeah. More accommodation. So. Accommodation. So, and they have. Uh, one of the best uh, hotels also over there uh, in San Juan beaches. So um, in over there is uh, you can get more stuff than the Camagin Island. Yeah. yeah, it's it's more developed, yeah, but it's, it's not developed. crazy big or anything. It's still very intimate and smaller. Yeah, very intimate and small. I love the waterfall over there. The color is amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's totally different than the Camagin Island. Right, yeah. um, and then. Um, Okay, then the third one is um, 
uh, Dumagate, right? Dumagate, where we are now. Um, what would you have to say about Dumagate? Sikiho around you. It's not. Uh, it's not a beach town. Not a beach town, no. Um, but um, I like here because uh, you can go to Apo Island. Yeah. You can go to like far away. There is a uh, uh, Zambo, Zambo Gata, or I can't remember the Cuckoo Nest. The Cuckoo Nest have. Resort is we love to go to. Yes, and you get your own privacy over there. Right. And you can go to the mountain, Valencia, if you stay in yeah, Valencia. Yeah, Valencia is beautiful. It's only seven kilometers away, right? With waterfalls. Yeah, waterfall. And, and then the food around here is good. I mean, you a can lot of get food choices. A, a lot of food choices compared with other places. And it's a larger city, right? It's it, So there's more people here. It's more about people. and. It's more about people here, but I don't feel very crowded. We can come in. Yes. That has a very hometown feel to it, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yes. And, but it doesn't have, there's no like beach front. I mean, there's a beach over here, but it's not the kind of, it's not like beautiful white sand beaches. It's, you're not going to want to pull your camera out uh, when you go to the beaches in Dumagate. But the water is clean. Yeah, we just, can show them, you know, the water yeah, you can is see clean. right it's down just, to the bottom. The sand is black, that's why it's like, make it like, look like black. But the water is very clean and no smell, it's good. Yeah. Um, so I'd say the main, maybe the main benefits of Dumagate is there's a bunch of restaurants, uh, there's more shopping here, and you're only, um, let's see, Sikahor is an hour away by ferry, and that, that's our, you know, one of our favorite places we just and talked Cebu about. Cebu also is. Uh, yeah, ferry to Cebu, uh, also Apo Islands, um, maybe 40 minutes away. That's one of the most beautiful islands. Um, yeah. You have that, uh, so it's, the beach itself you're gonna have to travel to, so that's the downside of Dumagate. Um, but I would say if you're a single man, Dumagate might be one of the best places to be in the, yeah. in the Philippines because you see all of these expats here um, with their Filipino girlfriends. Um, and so the society here seems to be very accepting of the concept. And it's, it's uh, the best place to live in the uh, Philippines. Dumagate? Yeah. So you ranking it number one? Oh, yes. What's your number two of those three we've discussed? Sikihor. Sikihor and number three then it'd be Kamigan. Kamigan. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. I, I think maybe Kamigan's too small. Yes. I, I couldn't put it number one, but I think I might put Sikihor as number one. Um, even though I'm generally more of a city person, I like having more restaurant choices and shopping and all that kind of thing. Um, but I just think Sikihor is really charming and I really miss the beach when I'm in Dumagate. I miss the white sand beach. So I just got my food delivery here. Yeah, Cheng Su just arrived. What is it? Tempura. Tempura. Yeah, I'll show them before tempura. So this is a cheese stick. So how much was it? One peso. No, 30. How much was the full thing? 30 pesos. 30 pesos, which is 60 cents. Yeah. And you have like these, they're deep fried. They look almost like tempura or something. It's tempura. Okay. It's chili tempura. That's chili inside? Yeah. And these are what? Cheese. Cheese inside the wrap. Yeah. <laughs> and what's on top? Uh, cheese powder. <laughs> well, that's a little orange to be cheese. <laughs> that might be cheese product or I don't know what they are. <laughs> it's low cheese cheese. <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, so I think I might put Sikihor uh, first um, in the San Juan area. Uh, because you're only an hour away from Dumagate by ferry yeah and so if you needed to shop you could come over if you need I'm, I mean they do have shopping in Sikihor they do have uh, shopping in our, all of our daily needs are there um, but if yeah. for odd things uh, we'd have to probably come to Dumagate uh, once or twice a month right yeah ride the ferry over so definitely yeah. we, we haven't um, visited the, the uh, grocery store over there right they have one big um, not Something like not hypermarket, something like uh, Dumagate downtown. The, the yeah. public market. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they have a real store over there. Right, right. Yeah. So those are our top three, and uh, again, we're in the middle of our tour of the Philippines. Um, and uh, when when the uh, when they lift the the borders and we're able to travel between islands, we, we there's about ten other places we want to see still uh, getting to your other point though uh, just a few comments on Boracay kind of a too touristy for me um, 
and Cebu uh, too crowded. Too crowded. I didn't like Cebu. So, anyway, that's our thoughts on uh, the best places so far. And what about Davao and the Cagaya de Oro? Um, Davao, um, I don't know. Um, I think it's kind of like a Dumaguete almost. Um, you have to get on a ferry to go to a beach. Or you have to drive a long distance to get to a beach. And I, um, it didn't, I don't know, it's it's a nice place. I, I, I wouldn't rank it much behind Dumagate. What are your thoughts on Dava? Oh, why I choose here? Because Dumagate, they have Upper Island, Sikho Island. Right. And Cebu Island, that you yeah. can go so easy and you can get your white sand beach. But in Dava, they also have like uh, uh, the small uh, white sand beaches, Sama Island. Yeah. And um, I would still prefer here. Why, why here though? You think it's just... Because the uh, Upper Island is more beautiful and then Sikiho is more beautiful, Cebu Island is more beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I got okay. three islands here. The best uh, diving yeah. is, is here. Okay. And uh, CDO um, just didn't have any close islands and didn't have any white sand beaches, but it did have the... If you're into whitewater rafting, they had that. Um, so uh, I think that wraps it up. I'm, Boho is also very nice. I could live on Boho. I don't Boho think I would want to live on Panglao. Uh, it's because it's a little too touristy. And yeah. There's not a lot of... It, it feels too tourist oriented. It's not like... It doesn't feel like local enough for me. Um, it's just purely catering to tourists. But Boho, that town just across from Panglao, uh, that seems okay for shopping and that kind of stuff. But I probably would want to live somewhere else on the island. If I did in Boho, but that's that's my thinking. So, thanks so much for watching our video. Um, make sure to click like, comment, subscribe. You'll help our business grow. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And there's a link up here somewhere. You can go check out Chung Hoist channel too. Um, she she specializes in food. I'm just started, so be kind to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to speak on the camera. It take me like two, three years, and right now I can speak in front of the camera. Yeah, you can. You're getting and much, some of much your, more confidence. Some of your uh, subscribers, they, they say, oh, she's uh, more confident on the camera. I say, thank yeah. you so much. Some right? of them have been following us for a year or more, and uh, they're they're noticing your ability to get in front of a camera, is, which is funny because she used to be a model, but she didn't have to talk. So <laughs> yes, yeah, that's that's why. <laughs> so she's always been in front of the camera, but now she's now she's talking. So. Please click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get a copy of this content. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. Hey, don't give up on your retirement dreams. Come check out our retired cheap reports all over the world. You can probably retire somewhere in the world beautiful like this for much less than you thought. Thanks for watching. Click the link below this YouTube video. Pause the video now to read this important liability disclaimer that limits your rights. You can also find this disclaimer in the description below this YouTube video. Basically, your reliance on the information in our videos is strictly at your own risk. So seek appropriate professional advice before taking any action on our videos.